I am John Orrick, and uh, I am not from Texas. Okay, I'm from uh, Downers Grove, Illinois, which is a suburb outside of Chicago. And as I said in my presentation, I think people want me to come in here and start talking like this over by there. And instead of saying y'all down here, I can say use, because that's a plural for you in Chicago. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of a suburban kid. I grew up in the suburbs and lived there pretty much all my life. Um, this is turbocharged with me. I took kind of a little poll uh, from some of the people that were here earlier. I've got about three versions of this presentation. Um, it, it all depends on your familiarity with using them. And what I'm getting, and the tipping point is either I've heard of them, I've never used them, I know nothing about them, or I've used them, but I want to make them better. You get the difference between which which of you would fall in that first category? I've heard of them, but I've never really used them that much. Three, four, hand, handful of people. The rest of you, I've used them, but I gotta make them better. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> all right. Um, first of all, one thing I hope you think about, not just the wikis, but for any technology that you're using in classroom. Okay. Uh, you have to ask yourself three questions. First of all, does this promote some fundamental literacy? If it doesn't, don't do it. it and I think a lot of teachers are past it, but there was a time when just because it was cool, you used it. Okay, well, what are kids learning? That's what Cheryl said this morning. The, the paradigm shift from teaching to learning. Okay, just because teaching is going on doesn't mean learning is happening. Uh, second question, I think this is the most important one, is if you infuse the technology, you have a, uh, some sort of technology aspect to it, how does it extend the learning experience? Okay. Sometime the best technology Sometimes the best technology is right here. Okay? If you're doing an activity that could be done with it, then use it. Okay? I hope you're seeing a lot of uh, applications today that fit these two. Now, the third one is that it's the linchpin that sort of holds together. There's got to be some sound teaching pedagogy. Technology, schmology. There's got to be some sound pedagogy that ensures the success of one and two. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. All right? Um, how many of you have seen the Leela Fever video on what it is? The okay, so I'm going to show that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a neat little video, and it's uh, done by Commoncraft. If, if you just if you go to type in uh, Wiki on YouTube, that'll be the first one to pop up. Um, and really, when I have teachers who are a little uh, shy about technology, they freak out because they don't know what a Wiki is. And you just tell people to collaborate the writing space. You go, oh, is that it? Yeah, and that's all it is. It's a place where different people can access it. Um, anybody know why I've got the hula girl up there? It's Hawaii. It's yeah. Hawaii. Wiki. What wiki wiki means? Fast. Fast or quick. And uh, suggestion, you're working with teachers, don't tell them that technology is easy. Never tell them something's easy because then if they have problems with it, they really feel like a schmuck. Okay. There's three steps involved, and here's what you need to do. I think there's a student. You don't say something's easy, because then if they don't know it, then they really feel wrong. Okay? Um, obviously, the most widely known wiki in the world is Wikipedia. And if you've got teachers that are very of having their kids look up stuff on Wikipedia, school them. Um, well, anybody in here, if you can see the layers that go through and the, and the scrutiny that Wikipedia goes under throughout the world, it's it's fairly accurate. Um, and true or false, there have never been there, there have never mistakes in textbooks, are there? <laughs> okay. Um, good quick reading for everybody. Uh, done by Edge Class Learning, Learning Initiative, something uh, you should know about wikis. Good quick little article to read. And by the way, again, I have no handouts. I don't want to shut them down from Chicago. Uh, they're all in the vault. There's the outline of this presentation as well as about 10 resources as well as an article that I wrote for Tech Learning called uh, learning, it's, learning with Wikis Can Be Wicked Fun. I didn't know the title, I actually went with that, so I um, can't take credit for that. Um, I'm going to go through this stuff pretty quickly. Features on most Wikis, since you have to be pretty uh, adapted. Uh, 
probably the two biggest buttons you're going to enter are you got to have an edit and a save feature. Um, you can make new pages, you can add text, insert files, images, movies, headlines, embed HTML. You can, matter of fact, my digital storytelling web page is a wiki. I happen to be the only member, but it's just an easy way to create. Okay? Um, one thing for assessment, at my school, we use Blackboard. Um, so we have a, a wiki feature in there. And in most wikis, when you look at the history, you can look at every iteration of it. And um, if something is highlighted in green, that means something that's, that a kid has added. I'll show you an example in a second. Yellow means it's been modified, and red, there's usually a line through it, means that something has been deleted. So you can see precisely what every uh, iteration has, has gone through and what kids have done on that. Um, if you're using uh, a wiki out there in the world, uh, they usually have three settings. I know Wikispaces does it, that's my favorite one. Uh, public means anybody can edit, anybody can view. Restricted, anybody can view, but only the people that you want can edit. And usually what people, especially with younger kids, they want to be careful of, you can go and get yourself a private wiki. Only the people you invite can edit it and view it. Um, that's up to your professional discretion. Okay. Um, real quickly, the steps, how do I make and use one? Select wiki location, initiate the space, decide on price frames, which talk about it, and enroll your users, and then give the charge or, or whatever it is you want them to do. There's things you gotta be careful on that later that we'll talk about. Okay? Uh, now there's lots of but how many of you use wikis right now and share with me where you use them? What what, what different uh, uh, tools do you use? What do you use? And what uh, format do you use? What, uh, Which wiki what yeah. Wiki space. Wiki space. Mm -hmm. Well, the two more popular. Wiki space is really is about educators, and they, you know, they're often they came out with another hundred thousand or whatever free wikis. All you have to do is say, "I'm an educator. Let me make free for you." I use PBWiki uh, to share um, staff. No, I'm a tech facilitator. So any staff development that I do, I like you do not bring handouts. Everything's on my wiki. And if you ever do a staff or you get to work with people, it's a thing to keep in mind that a wiki is not a gimmick. It was it was bred out of necessity. People that had to work together who weren't together. Uh, how many well, how many of you are at our presentation this morning with uh, David Warlick and Meg Robinson and myself? David lives in North Carolina, and Meg and I live here at the village. We don't see each other. We did our thing in a wiki. Okay. Uh, we use Google Docs, which is What's really kind of weird about Google Docs, if you can't do other ones, is I can be editing while you're editing. Yeah. And that's scary. Because I was out there and Meg was writing something in her pink, and I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm Meg. It's like, oh, so you don't seem to have a chat room going on there, which is another story. I, well, I wanted to, I just wanted to say, uh, off the side of education, as a parent, my daughter was at a and and she had her senior PowerPoint, and, and it just wouldn't come to email. You know, once she got it all put together. Yeah. And so she would post it, she made herself a wiki. And so then I went on and said, oh, you know, got to spell, you know, you got to yep. check on that. That doesn't sound right. And so we edited it together just as, you know, consumers, right. but educationally. Absolutely. It's very cool. Okay, so I think they'll recognize the need. The problem is to get the kids to do what we want to do with it. Um, again, we use Blackboard. We mentioned Wikispaces, WebPaint, TVWiki. There's another one. Uh, Jot is a very simple one. Um, but I do want to show you this made. Now, this is not going to be a web page that you're necessarily going to bookmark, but you may use it once. Uh, let's say you don't know which wiki tool to use. There is a web page called Wikimatrix. This is cool. And again, you're going to use it once, and when you find out what you want to use, that's it. Um, and as you can tell, I'm filibustering here while this page comes up. Um, 